I know you liked a lot of the family aspects of Smallville. Uh, was there any writings or any scripts that you disagreed with saying, this is something my character wouldn't do? Yes, there were many things I disagreed with and I got in trouble. It may very well be why I died. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. There was a scene that uh, Jonathan is downstairs getting a cookie or milk or something. It's late at night. Uh, Martha is there too. And it was written where I turn around and I see Clark and Lana coming down the stairs. And Clark is wearing his t-shirt, I think. And Lana is wearing Clark's uh, plaid shirt and nothing else. You know, it's obvious they been doing the crossword puzzle up there. <laughs> and the line, it was written, Martha looks at Jonathan and you know, it's like, oh my God, what's going on up there? And Jonathan turns to Clark and says, at least tell me you were safe. I remember that. Yeah. So you out of your mind? <laughs> Jonathan can't, can't turn to Clark Kent and say, at least tell me you were safe. Jonathan is going to kill this guy. <laughs> if what happened up there, if what he thinks happened up there really happened up there, not in this house, that's not going to happen. I'm going to take this kid out to the shed and I'm going to beat the shot up. <laughs> and they said, oh, no, no, it's not like that. You know, it's got to be. And oh, everybody's always looking at the watch like that guy. Looking at the watch because you gotta, you got to shoot a schedule. And I wouldn't do it. I said, no, I can't. I, we'll find some other way, but I will not do that because people will, will, you'll hear the sound of people turning the show off. And I really think that if you violate that kind of a character, then it's a problem. So it wound up being the compromise was, uh, which is oddly enough now, one of Miles and Al's favorite moments in Smallville, they told me that they, came up with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm downstairs, I'm pouring the milk, pouring the milk, uh, or getting a cookie, and Martha's coming this way. Martha looks behind me, sees, you know, she looks up, and as soon as she sees Clark and Lana coming down the stairs, she runs over like a good mother hen and gets between us, because I see the look on her face, and it's like, all right, it's late, but something's very wrong. So I turn around. By the time I turn around, Martha is there to stop me from strangling young Clark Kent. <laughs> I'm looking at him, son, <laughs> like that. So she says, just, just at least, at least tell, tell me that you were safe. So she says it. And I look at her like, okay, after I get him done in the barn, I'm coming after you. <laughs> and, and it's great. It's, it's really great, because uh, that's how I think fathers are, especially fathers that, that raise the boy who would be Superman. Um, it got me in trouble. It got me in big trouble. I didn't care, because I'm still talking about it. Uh, rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Folks, I appreciate you being here. I really do. I'll uh, see you. Everybody, let him hear it.